So this is several months after the fight with Luther. I'm glad to see you're doing well. Do you need something from me? No, I just happened to run into you. You want to know what happened ten years ago? When my sister passed away? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I apologize. I'd like to tell you, but my memories are hazy. I cannot clearly recall. I remember a dark falls appearing in the city. And my sister and Gedim Hope going to... Excuse me. It appears I'll need some time yet before I can calmly reflect on those events. I can. She probably died fighting alongside Gedim Holt. You want to know what form the Dark Falls took? And I'll question that. Not really. It's all quite fuzzy, but if I recall correctly, it was almost childlike. Yes, at the very least, I'm certain it wasn't an adult. Get him, Hulk got killed by Euclida. I think Amaya's making your dinner. I can smell something. Wait, why do you want to know about what I was up to a decade ago all of a sudden? Where were you ten years ago, Zeno? Um, ten years ago, I, uh, well, I think that was when I first met my mentor. Man, what a legend. Stare. All right, all right, spare me the death glare. It's like my mentor is here staring at me. <laughs> About that. Ten years ago, though. Oh, hey, perfect timing. Echo! Echo! Come here! What do you want? I've got paperwork to take care of, so make it snappy. Do you remember anything from ten years ago? Like how you always used to skip training and get in trouble? Hmm, sure. No wonder those two get along. Why do you always have to remember my worst moments? Ugh, never mind. Thanks. You're dismissed. Mm-hmm. Just make sure you don't skip our next meeting, okay? And hey, make sure you use him as an example of what not to do, okay? Okay. You're not very nice. So, yeah. That's what our memories from ten years ago are like. I don't remember all that much myself. It's sort of hazy, you know? But there's one thing I haven't forgotten. Something Gedim Holt isn't likely to ever forget either. Gedim Holt is dead, so we I don't care. We ended up facing off against a Dark Falls back then, right when we were trying to help people evacuate. I was on guns back then, though, which probably put me at the safest distance of anyone. And from there, all I could really do was watch as my friends fell right before my eyes. When all was said and done, the only survivors were me, Gedim Holt, and Melvin Cena, who was only a kid back then. Oh, wait, if you already know her name, I guess I should just call her Melrandia, huh? So you know. Melrandia got caught up in the battle, and her older sister Melfonsina sacrificed her life to make sure Melrandia and Gedim Holt escaped. After that, I gave up guns entirely, and Gedim Holt, he... Sort of lost it after that. And that's why you saw the Get'em Holt you did in episode one. And Melrandia wanted to become her lost sister, Melfoncina. And that's that. Talk about a downer, right? Huh? You want to know more about the Dark Falls we faced off against back then? Of course I haven't forgotten. I never will. It was a monster like nothing I'd ever seen. It looked like some little kid and toyed with us like we were mere playthings. Seriously, just messed up. Well, we already know that Apprentice took off his sister as her host. Why are you acting so surprised? We've seen Dark Falls take the forms of kids before, haven't we? Yeah, Gemini. Well, there's a, uh, like, combat forms weapon. Shit! I need that in my life.
I thought I was done with ten. Ten. Two. I thought I was done with two. I ask around for like a month and then I go to this do this thing. That's a lot of bug fall spawn. Good day, mate. Why am I here? <laughs> it's not like someone told me come out this way or anything. I just had a feeling she'd come here. And if you're here too, well, something tells me my hunch was right on the money. Is that so? I wonder if she'll show up. You know, apprentice. I should be able to see her if we can hold out here. Okay. And what do you plan to do then? When you meet the apprentice? Wait, I know you. You always used to hang out with that scary senior operative. She's on our side now, it's okay. You can call me Sina. And don't dodge my question. What exactly are you planning to do when you see the apprentice? Honestly, I don't know. But I've got this feeling like... I've got to see her. I've got to see her. Look into those eyes and tell her what's on my mind. Staying silent is out of the question. You getting brave. Really now? Let me accompany you then. I want to bear witness to this. Sure. He's got a vendetta against Apprentice too. And I'm just here because they want me to like be. the reflection of who I once was. I simply cannot observe from afar. Lee. There she is. My power, where has it gone? There? No, maybe that way? Why won't this body show me the way? This is where my powers were stripped away. I'm sure of it. Why? You're right. Why can't I sense them? So there you are, Dark Falls. Or should I say, you see. Arts. You will call me by that wicked name no longer. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to stop. I'll say it however many times it takes to get through to my sister. You see, 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 you see. Wait! Get out of my way! At ease. Your words reached her. I was only chasing a phantom. But persistence will see you through. Sina. She's got experience with this. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, mate. Heck if I'm gonna throw in the towel now. Alrighty then. Let's kick some butt and find Yusi again. Here we go. What's wrong? What's wrong with this body? Why can't I feel my power? It should be around here. Too bad. You greet her. Sis. Don't you dare call me that. I am. I am the Dark Falls apprentice who stole this body ten years ago. No. You're not. No. If that were the case, I would have given up on you already. taken over or consumed everything might be shrouded in darkness but she was simply kidnapped that's right come on you see you've got to remember what happened simply assume you're a satan but you're not satan enough My power, this body, they're not enough. 
Nope. Got eaten by double. It's the only one you've eaten at this point. Hey, what about the kid? Can't leave leftovers. How about some dessert? Nah, I'm stuck. But hey, I've got a better idea. Let's take her to go. Oh boy. Sure, let's take it to go. You know, though, a full belly really makes me want to cut loose. Yeah, I really want to cut loose. Let's have a little fun, okay? He's two children. Hey, let's play. Gonna have to kill a lot of people to work off this meal. Oh boy. They just took a bite out of Apprentice. I need to do more mind games. That awful voice in my head. I can't even think straight because of it. Sorry? It's you. I can't be myself because of you. This is all your fault. Oh, shut up. Why don't you just get rid of me? What? Shouldn't be a big deal for a dark falls like you, right? But if you're still you see, then there's no way I could. Not if you're my reckless, nosy, hot tempered. Wonderfully kind sister. You know, that's a lot to remember from someone you haven't seen in a decade. Your nonsense. I am Dark Falls. I am Apprentice the Vernal. Obliterating a few feeble arc members like you with child's play, I can and I will. I should be able to. So why? Why won't these hands of mine muster up the strength to do it? What's stopping you? <laughs> You're just a fake. Gemini. Why would a fake be able to do anything? You can't search. You can't destroy. You can't do anything. You can barely control fall spawn. Gemini. So boring. But that's what happens when we only use the leftovers. Such a letdown. But that's what you get when you work with a failure. What a killjoy. I hope at least when you fall. You'll make a wonderful spectacle for us. I think we apprentice. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a lot of falls. Well, we knew he wasn't dead. In fighting between the falls.
No. I came straight here on Shao's request, but, uh... Mind filling me in here, guys? Sure. For the moment, the Both falls are killing each other. Wobbling amongst themselves. Never thought I'd see the day. What are you trying to pull, Elder? Are you allying yourself with Arcs? Is this betrayal? Please. He'd just as soon kill us as he would you. Especially with Xeno right there. Elder doesn't give a fuck about the side who's on. He just wants to punch things. Really? I'm sick of hearing you guys sully the Dark Falls name. So sick of it. True Dark Falls aren't tainted monstrosities like you. They must have been around a lot longer. Our mission? We must rekindle the profound darkness. Can you forget our mission? We must become the profound darkness. If you can't even remember that, you're not Dark Falls at all. I think Gemini has been in a Dark Falls state for a very, very long time. But probably they're still on their original hosts. If you can't even remember that, you're all just fakes. He should have just devoured you pale imitations from the very beginning. But today, you all die. But today, you're erased. They gotta fix some of these typos. Well, well, well. Here come the copies, one after another. I mean, if you want to. Ha! You wish, Elder. This here is the Ark's job description in a nutshell. Often, take your sister and get out of here. Melfoncina, you... I'll fight. This time, I'll pull my own weight. Okay. But obviously I'm fighting. He's not even going to tell me to leave. Zeno's joined the party. Elder is not going to join the party. He's going to be a guest. Where's Double? Oh, Double's not going to fight this one. But this is still a boss, so... You! You're the one I want. Come here, apprentice. Says you're the only one I gotta take out. That's great. Keep standing him till now. Come here. This thing takes like no mana to do, so I can do this forever. Completed. Did Elder just put away Knuckles? I guess it doesn't matter. I guess he has to. Did he just punch things to death?
summoning all these copies is making my tummy rumble. I think it's time we gobble somebody up. Nope. He might be, if it kills you. Helpful advice from Satan himself. out to her one last time. Well, that's the thing that happened. He kind of. you by your name at the end there, didn't he? And he might not be the only one who's managed to hold on to part of himself. They kind of do that. Falls take on some of the personality of their host, because they don't just... They, like... Share the body? Kind of? As we've seen just about every... Except for Luther, who willingly turned himself into a falls. Like, Genemholt and Euclida both retained part of who they were when they became one. So... That just... I, I guess in an emotional moment they can break through. Say no more, Zeno. Say no more. He's right. I am Melrandia. And I just need to be me. I see. You see, wait! Take your hands off me. That is not who I am. But then, if I'm not a dark balls either. What in the world am I? She's kind of broken now. You see. At least I don't think she's going to be a threat anymore. <laughs> there she goes again. Don't worry, though. I'm done giving up. I'll get through to her someday. Until then, I'll chase her down wherever she goes. She might not remember, but I've got a real knack for tracking things down. I used to find stuff for her all the time, after all. There you go. This won't be any different. I'll find her. Period. I think that's the end of that mission. So in the end, the apprentice you ran into down on Lilypaw wasn't the real apprentice after all. 
That was Afin's sister, Euclita. She inherited the remnants of the real apprentice, who nearly died ten years ago. And the real apprentice, it would seem, was devoured by Gemini. But tell me, Afin, what do you hope to gain by seeking out Euclita? She might not be the real thing, but she still inherited its powers. That makes her an enemy. But we might be able to change that. Ox doesn't get to decide that. Only me and Yusi do. Right. Okay then, I'll let you handle it. Arx will be there to support you no matter how this turns out. Good answer. So please, make sure you ask us for help when the time comes. If he believes that that uh, she's going to stick to her role as falls and try to and try to hunt down the Arx anyways, inevitably it'll come down to the clash that he believes should happen to begin with. So there's no reason for him not to give Offen a chance to try, because if he really thinks it's not going to matter, what does he get to lose? Got it. I'll see you around then, mate. Negotiating with Dark Falls, huh? I wonder how all of this will turn out. I want to believe they can make this work. And if anyone can, it certainly is those two. You and I need to have a conversation Perhaps too, Matoy. Right. It's been a while. Sorry for causing you so much trouble. You. Look, she even got a different hat. It's me, Melrandia. Thanks to you, I feel fine. Much to my astonishment as well, I haven't been shocked. Of course, it would be a lie to say I'm A-OK, -okay, but I am finally moving forward. Good. I'm done borrowing my big sister's name. My Melfoncina days are over. It's just a phase, Mom. Oh, sorry, it's I not a phase, Mom. Oh, it was a phase. As Melrandia. I'll keep my sights on the future and go on living. And after this, you are immediately... Totally irrelevant to the plot. That's what that Dark Falls, uh... I mean... Master Gedimholt told me to do. Thank you so much. For then. And for now. My powers are insignificant, but even so. Please let me know if I can be of any help. I mean, you're a force. You know healing, man. Back. <sighs> it was harder getting back here than expected. Too hard, really. Elder did a number on us, but they're gone now, so no matter. Yeah, no point wasting time thinking about someone who's not even around anymore. Hey, mate. It's all right. Let me handle this. You do it then. Handle it. You see. Don't call me that. It's not possible. You're my Yusi. My big sister. Yeah, deal with it. I am a Dark Falls. The Dark Falls apprentice. I am Arx. Hey, Yusi. It's okay now. You don't need to play tough. You knew, didn't you? You didn't need Gemini to tell you that something wasn't right. Correct. That the other Dark Falls commanded the Fallsborn. And during the battle, they took on a combat form and attacked us directly. You didn't do that. But you didn't do that. You just commanded the Fallsborn and didn't join the others in combat. Now, that's way different. Maybe you couldn't join them. You didn't have enough power to. Try as you might. Talking like you knew. What do you know? I don't. That's why I'm asking you. If what I'm saying is wrong, tell me. I'll think more about it. Bye. <laughs> you 
You heard it, didn't you, mate? She hasn't denied anything I've said. Nope. And running. When she doesn't have a leg to stand on. Is what my sister would do. You see. Of course he had a gun blade ready. This is just some sibling rivalry. Are you calling yourself the sibling of a dark fall? Don't make me laugh. Yeah, um... Of course I am. Of course it he is. It really is funny, isn't it? But it's the truth. Silence! I have no siblings. Yeah, Gemini ate them all. You have to be my sister. It's fine if you can't remember. Huh? I just want you back, you see. You. What about you? I'm a dark boss. You're going to strike me down, yes? Probably not. Oh, this ain't my fight. Why do you two always respond this way? You can't even grant me the right to die as a dark falls. You see. We'll get her. Gonna just keep running. You see? I I don't remember you. Or anything about you. Not one thing. I don't even remember the name Euclida. And why would I? After all, I'm a Dark Falls. I'm the most terrible foe. The most horrifying threat to arcs like you. The only Dark Falls trait you have is the reverb in your voice. If you don't want him to die right now, you'll have to pull the trigger. <laughs> Won't kill him. Mate. I'm gonna do it, and you'll see why. If I am truly a dark falls. I will soon cease to be. It's over. This is supposed to be the end. And yet... I'm still alive? Yep. So, I see. That's how it is. I... should have known. It's just like Gemini said. I'm a fake. Just leftovers. I'm not a real Dark Falls. Yeah, cripes! <laughs> I, I told you to shoot, but would it have killed you to ease up a little, mate? You see, you doing okay? Shut up! That's not my name! Don't call me that! No reverb anymore. I don't remember anything. I don't know my own name, or your name, or anything at all anymore. There's nothing left for me. I'm neither Dark Falls, nor Arcs. What... what should I do? It says something about the game's developers, that they were both shot through the chest, yet her clothes are torn apart, exposing her, and his are completely intact. What do you think they were going for there, exactly? They should both have holes. Hey, wait up. Yussi, don't... Yussi, come back! 
Within Wolpal's equal waters, we suddenly stumble upon mysterious ruins. Well, that's right. We haven't seen There's this area really yet. There's no mystery to any of it. It's been publicly acknowledged that this was a research facility that Luther was using. Yep. A strange monstrosity blocks Partia from finishing their analyses. No mystery there either. We know it's an escaped Oceanid from this facility. A world of trouble awaits. Only time will tell if our luck will last. I'm not gonna stop calling them Oceanids. There's nothing to continue. Oh, hi there. Tia here. Hi, Tia. I'm telling you, after investigating the coast and the seabed, I was sure we'd seen it all. But here we are. Wait until you learn there's a whole nother planet you guys haven't been to yet. Not even we could have foreseen this. The wreckage on the coast, the facilities on the seabed, and now these ruins. All of it was apparently the work of photoners long, long ago. Luther started using the abandoned facilities later on, apparently. Makes you wonder, though, why did the photoners build all of this in the first place? No one can say for sure. It doesn't even seem like Luther himself used them for their original purpose. The layout is so exciting, and it's on such a tranquil, watery... There's pretty ruins. Wait! I know! The photoners must have built all this as a place to play! Wait, what? To play? I mean, come on! The great weather, all this water, it just screams beach party! Hmm, I doubt that's what this is. But still, the records show that the photoners did do pretty much whatever they wanted, whenever they wanted. Everyone needs a bit of rest and relaxation every now and then. Arcs operators and photoners are no exception. Except all the photoners are dead now, so I see how that went for them. So, now that we've learned this super important lesson, it's time for us to take a dip! Nope. Well, look who it is! Hi. If you're after Sarah, she's off on her own. Sometimes, I find it easier to dig around a bit when she's not here. Especially on Wopal. Which is why I am here to assist Maria instead. Not that I volunteered. You didn't have a choice, did I've you? I've heard about enough of your whining, Kasra. I wish you'd move those hands as fast as you run that mouth. You said like three words. You wanted to ask me about Sarah. Sarah's past, hmm? You mean before she met Shao? Not a particularly amusing tale to tell, unfortunately. To put it simply, that girl is yet another victim of Luther's. He subjected her to his tests, gathering all sorts of data. In short, she was his guinea pig. I'm very happy that, that Luther was killed. But, uh, also, everything that's coming out about him after the fact is terrifying. Why her, exactly? That, I cannot say. I was so disgusted with what I found in those labs that I raised the place to the ground during her rescue. That is an appropriate response to everything you saw there. Sarah was chosen because she had Clarissa. I hope you aren't trying to suggest you had a hand in this, Kasra. Heavens no. Now, would you please stop staring me down like that? Your stare cuts deeper than any blade. No, we saw how I she got it. found something. Some of the research data you blew to bits. Part of it, at least. <laughs> Theodore helps. The details in Sarah's file show that she was a specimen intended to temporarily possess Clarissa the White. She did. Put simply, Luther was using Sarah as a tool to obtain more data on Clarissa. And with that data, he created a copy. Clarissa the Ashen. Along with someone worthy to wield it. I think she's had enough of that. Could you do me a favor, Maria, and try not to destroy any more important equipment? <laughs> 
Sorry, my hand slipped. Your slips cause more damage than some false spawn attacks. Ooh, you're gonna get the next spear. You're far more protective of your little student than your sharp tongue would suggest. Oh, it's you, eh? I see you didn't drag that wacko girlie along with you today. Nope, just me, Cabracken. So are you calling a Oh, I lied. Oh, she's back to her force outfit. Ugh, where'd you come from? You really shouldn't go talking behind people's backs like that, you know? Not being a hunter. Hang on now. You feeling all right, girly? Any normal day, you'd have charged in guns blazing and attacked me on the spot. Long time no see. You dressed all different, too. Huh. Oh, this? Zeno's back now, so I figured there's no need for me to overdo it. Giving Hunterdom a shot was nice and all, but I'm more comfortable as a force. But shouldn't mean anything to this dude who's only had a handful of experiences with arcs and classes were never mentioned. I mean, sure, you look good in that getup and all, but I don't know, it kind of feels like a waste. What does, exactly? It feels like you're hiding away your ferocity, your whack jobbiness behind all this. Hey, watch it! Huh, lucky I missed. Uh. Hunter or no, you ain't changed one bit, have you? Of course not. You could at least settle down a bit now that your lover boy is back. He is not my lover boy! He is, absolutely. You are the worst at hiding it. Still trying to keep that lie alive, eh? <laughs> Even the fish knows. Oh, the episode three? Did I start three? Or do you just get that early? Hold up now. And yeah, he's he's funny for comic relief. All right, did I actually finish two and not realize it? Which quest are you up for? Okay, I did not. So you just get it early, and they call it episode three. All right, but he's got a point. I mean, she makes it painfully obvious throughout episode two. Larissa the White was temporarily transferred ten years ago. That means Sarah's... But wait, Sarah doesn't have any memories of that. Because everyone's got erased. Well, duh. I forgot everything. Sarah! I only started remembering after I met Matoy half a year ago. Everything started slowly coming back to me then. Emphasis on slow. Ten years ago, I borrowed Clarissa from the second and gave it to you. That's all I remember. Nope. My next memory is after I was saved by Maria and Xiao. But I don't even remember where I was rescued from. Honestly, it was probably so terrible, I wouldn't even want to remember it. It turned my hair white and killed my ability to use techniques after all. But it's also what made me who I am today. Now you're a hunter. I've got the power to fight and friends to back me up. So I don't regret anything. And I don't want anyone misconstruing that point. Especially you, Xiao. We're connected, so I can always tell what you're thinking. Yes, you can. Just try talking about atonement or repentance or whatever. I'll suck you good. You will. No surprise. Like master, like apprentice, I suppose. Maria talks like that, too. Hey, look! It's the bonehead! 
here to check things out too, huh? Huey and I are already on it. What she means is that we're here on orders. Not because we were just in the way or anything. No, sir. Really? Didn't Kazra literally say, Get out of my sight, you fools! You're in the way! Ah! Details, details. That guy's a jerk anyway. He didn't even ask, though, huh? The two of you sure talk a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it's you. I thought you were Kasra for a sec. I'd prefer if you didn't lump me in with that bespectacled bully, thanks. <laughs> uh, so you're Clarice Grace, are you? You've never met? And who the heck are you? Pretty sure we've never met. Oh boy. Hmm. Sorry, I just remembered something I need to take care of. Hey, Huey. I didn't do something to offend her, did I? Don't you worry, Clarice Grace. Neither of you did anything wrong. He must know then. Sorry. I went out of my way to tell you not to make a fuss, but then I went and did just that. Yes. She's a copy of me, from head to toe. Everything about her is exactly the way I used to be, including her hair. I always figured I could handle whatever misfortune came my way. But you're not prepared for that. But this, she was created and now suffers all because of me. It's all too much, really. She and all the others, they were given life simply to be used, suffer, and discarded. All because I fell for Luther's false promises. Whoa! Great timing! Huey? All Might? Is that you? One of the Council of Six has something really important to talk with you about. And by one of them... I mean me. All right, spit it out. There's some real tension between Clarice Craze and Sarah, yeah? So I was hoping maybe we could fix that. Oh? Now listen, I don't know what sort of history they've got, and I don't want to know. Honestly, I don't care. But the way they get so uncomfortable around each other, now that I can't stand. Ain't nothing good going to come from that. So come on, let me a hand here. Okay. Well, worst case scenario is they both completely stop acknowledging one another, yeah? They could try to kill each other. People seem to do that in this universe. So I figure we take them now, while they're at least pretending to be civil with each other, and kind of force them to get buddy-buddy. This sounds like a really bad idea. And if that only makes things worse, so be it. At least they won't be ignoring each other. I just don't want to go on with those two pretending the other doesn't exist. All righty then. Time for Operation Sarah Claire. We're gonna make these two besties or die trying. They will Just leave all the messy details to me. <laughs> they're gonna become friends because they're gonna bond over killing you. Huh? You got called out here too? Sure. Let's say I got called out here. Maria just called me up out of nowhere and was all, You have a new mission. Refusal is not an option. She said sure. I don't understand when I got here. Who does she think she is, huh? If you're here too, though, I guess I shouldn't complain too much. Come on then. Let's get started. Okay. Okay, Huey. I'm here, all right. Wait, where's Huey? And what are you boneheads doing here? Here we go. Grace. Wait, why is Huey calling me now? Clarice Grace. If you're listening to this message, that must mean I'm not there with you. Yeah, no kidding, genius. Right about now is when I expect you'll say something snippy in return, but I'm not going to let that stop me, so listen up. Clara's Grace, your next mission is with those two. 
Oh, hell. I've been thinking, see? Being stuck with me all the time was probably holding you back. Still, though, I didn't want to just toss you out there with any old so-and-sos, because that had only earned me an earful. Yep. So that's why I figured I'd pair you up with those two there. They're super nice and won't get mad at you or anything. I've got you set up with someone who can show you around the place, too. So go have at it. I technically haven't done anything here yet. Who's gonna show us around? What's that? What's all the fuss this time? Capricorn. Oh, now, little ladies, I ain't your enemy. I'm your guide, okay? Sheesh, you think you two were a synchronized kill squad the way you moved in unison there? Seriously, thought I was a gunner. First that last gal, now these two? You really do hang around with one heck of a crowd, my friend. He does have a point. Every time I every time I talk to him and I've got a girl with me, they're slightly homicidal. <laughs> I need to just like stop hanging around homicidal women. Or you know, stop running into Cabracken. Anyhow, that overbearing fella on your comms just asked for my help. So here I am. Now, let's get going. Follow me. Oh boy. I honestly wish I could just ditch this whole thing and leave it in your hands. But I doubt Maria would be too happy about that. Nope, she'd probably ax you. So, fine. Let's just get this over with. Yeah. Would you just shut up already? What do you even want? Have you and I met somewhere before? I don't feel like we're strangers here. Yeah, felt that. Even our photon energy feels a lot alike. It's strange. Kind of exciting, too. Hey, got any boneheaded ideas why? If you only knew. How do you expect me to know something that even you don't? And for the record, I have a name, okay? It's Sarah. Nope, still gonna call me Bonehead. It's Sarah, huh? Okay, I'll try and remember that. So tell me, Bonehead. Ugh! I just told you my name is Sarah! Hey, don't yell at me! I remember! You're Sarah, right, Bonehead? You are doing this on purpose! Yep. No, I'm not. And so what if I am? Blah. Now, that's some sisterly love right there. We are not sisters. I'm pretty sure even a blind idiot could see that. Uh... You reckon? You're both about yay high, and you got the same sort of outline to your faces and all. Don't you think so? Is it gonna click? Ain't nothing nicer than when everyone gets along, eh? No siree. So let's all just have some fun, huh? We are here to investigate this place. To dig up the truth and uncover what really went down here. There's nothing fun about any of this. Sure, sure. But you already know you ain't gonna find any good news at the end of this <laughs> whole thing, eh? So why make it worse by raining on your own parade? We should just enjoy ourselves out here. Are you not concerned about where you came from? Hey, why does about he care? what happened to this planet? And why you can speak to us in our own language like this? Why does he care? Hmm, I mean, I think it's weird and all, of course. But it's not like finding out why is gonna do much for me anyway. What would him knowing about that change how he lives? My people, we got a saying. Don't let what's behind you scare you. Let what's up ahead do the job. Perfect for when you're running from a pack of baddies. <laughs> Still, though. <laughs> it's survival of the fittest out here. We don't have time to waste letting what's over and done with hold us back. Gotta move ahead. Good advice from a fish crab thing.
How about it, miss? Finding anything out? It seems that Luther's death triggered the release of this machine. The times match up perfectly. Okay. And there's a ton of data. It looks like this was the one they used mainly. More than the facility on the seabed. More detailed data than what was retrieved on the seabed. There's even complete data on biology experiments. You really want to go there, though? Alteration and synthesis experiments on the aboriginals that lived on Wopal. Experiments to implant artificial intelligence? So that stuff about artificial intelligence has to do with us? Yes, as far as I can tell from looking at this. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? You weren't the one conducting the experiments. I never wanted an apology. All I think is being able to talk is real convenient. Yeah, there you go. Don't apologize without a reason, miss. That hurts a lot. I'm getting enough sympathy without you having to do that. You're a real smooth talker. And yet, both women try to kill him. Don't fall in love with me now. I have a special someone in Camelot. You can quit with the jokes. Hmm? What's this data? It's really protected. <clears throat> Claire is praise refinement data. That's my data. But the sample's labeled Sarah. Click. Here. It was... It was here. This is the place where my whole body was messed around with. It was here. Yes, here. Whoa, Sarah. So that means... Uh-huh. You're not shocked that you're a clone? No, she already knew that. No, because I saw it with my own eyes. I got over that a long time ago. I cried so hard, and I was so confused. I'd be lying if I said it's not tough to deal with anymore. But I can at least accept it. What else can you do about Genocide. it, right? Answer me this. Are you my original? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> waddle, 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 waddle. Sarah. Whenever I was out there, wreaking havoc on other planets, it felt like someone was watching me. It wasn't Huey. It was like Someone was looking out for me. She knows. But I get it now. I finally understand. That was you, Sarah. You were watching over me. Yes. I was always watching. Out of sight, but always there for you. You were made for me. You were made by me. It's like your mother. I had to wake up for what I'd done. I had to turn those regrets into a source of motivation. That was quick. Regrets? Don't be a bonehead, bonehead. If Huey was here, he'd knock you flat on your ass. You're just my original, and that's. The one that created me, used me. That's all on Luther. Boom. But me, I'm an absolute fool. I let someone take advantage of my ignorance and people got hurt. But Huey forgave me. That one too. Yep. I'm not sure how everyone else in ARCs feels, but I decided to forgive myself. 
If I can't forgive myself, then I don't deserve anyone's forgiveness. I'm immature, an idiot, a fool. But I made a choice to live as myself. As Claire's Grace. Stop worrying about me. Clone, original, none of that matters. I'm me, and you're you, Bonehead. Wow. I wasn't expecting to get told off by such a cheeky little brat. You kinda earned it. Well, what was that, Bonehead? We're basically the same height! Guys. They're not happy you shot them. Guys. Ladies. Hey, 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 girls. Now is not the time for a sister fight. We're not sisters. I am Claire's praise. Close enough. They're basically sisters. They might as well be. I mean, that's cool looking at all. But y'all know what time it is. Boss fight showed up, which means swing, bada bada, swing, dragon, dragon, dragon. Ah! Capricorn's on my team, and he died. What the fuck, man? You can't just beat up my crab person shell thing like that. Whatever you are. Ow. They hit me. I don't approve of being hit like that. I'm not done with you. Okay, I'm done with one of them. You also dead. This weapon camo is getting sold. I mean, it's cool that I got it, but I'm getting rid of it. I don't like you. I can already say that. Guys, I'm sorry. I put you through a lot. This isn't like me at all. Slap. Oh. Lars Grace? I'm the only one left now. The rest are gone. Gone before I could ever talk to any of them. Well, they did they did introduce themselves That's by trying to kill you. To talk with you. Bone. Yeah. I guess it's about time I stopped running and faced the truth, too. Let's call yourself sisters already. We done with our little sisterly squabble then? Thank you. We're not. <sighs> you know what? Forget it. What's the harm? Also, where did they go? All's well that ends well. But don't you think that was maybe just a bit too intense? Nah. Pretty heartless. I mean, making someone uncover the truth, you know, on their own like that. She had to face it sooner or later, and the sooner the better. Plus, one of them acts a bit too tough when she's with a certain someone. <laughs> I think that goes for both of them. Honestly, far too protective of that girl, Huey. <laughs> Listen to you. I mean, you're here watching over the whole thing. 
Yep. Which one of us is overprotective again? Neither of you is one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Cut me some slack here. If we weren't here, I doubt it would have turned out this way. <laughs> Gotta let them figure these things out for themselves. But, thanks for sticking along for the ride. I appreciate it. <sighs> she ought to be good to go on her own from now on. Yeah. Capricorn, you should probably... Huh. Hang on now. Is it just me, or are those two fighting? Whoa! I think they just set Capricorn flying! Oops! Nice catch! You're too loud. Nice catch! But seriously, I thought I was a goner there. It looked like a happy ending, when suddenly they go off on each other. And for what? Getting metal tears and snot on their clothes? Huh. They both have a tendency to get quite worked up, don't they? It's kind of the deal. Uh, like two angry peas in a pod. All right, Huey, we'd better go break it up. You bet. And I'm going to step away, because I don't need to get involved with that. How long must she suffer because of you? You've seen how this burden to save everyone affects her. You've seen how the darkness aided her until she resigned herself to fate. Yeah? Yet here you are, ready to force her through it all once again. In the end, <laughs> words are just that. Words. You cannot change how this will end. Says you. If you truly intend to deliver her from despair, you need to act quickly. Oh my god, I think she's wearing pants. <laughs> or a onesie. I haven't seen you in so long. I was running all over the place working on acquiring special arts authorizations. And you seem plenty busy yourself. You can probably tell as much already, but I'm pretty happy to see you again. Well, she's got a skirt. I mean, that's kind of pants. Wait, you do remember me, right? Please don't tell me you forgot. It's me, Matoli, the one and only. Remember? They try to make it all mysterious, like we can't tell by the face. Change up your outfit. Yeah. I thought a change of pace was in order. Or a new way to express myself, maybe? I'm going to be a real deal arts operative. After begging and pleading, Xiao is finally giving me authorization. Now I'll finally be able to fight alongside you. Yep, it's time to earn my keep too. And that's why you called me up here today, isn't it, Xiao? Think, I hope. As Ark's overseer, you're going to grant me authorization, aren't you? Before I give you special permission, there's still one more lesson I need you to learn, Matoy. What kind of lesson? No classrooms involved, I hope. Don't get all pouty just yet. Our friend here will hear you out. Mm hmm? Okay, then, I'm listening. You really are an easy read. Now then, this lesson isn't any sort of formal lecture. I just want to get you both up to date on the current state of ARCs. I'll be skipping over a lot of the history and finer details, but you can always ask me later about anything you want to know. Sure I can. Uh-huh. That's not the most reassuring of responses, but all right. Let's talk about ARCs as a whole. Arcs had finally overthrown the puppet leadership Luther had in place. We lost Xion in the process, 
But there's no point on dwelling on that. What's done is done. It has taken us roughly half a year to get Arcs up and running again. To put it back on its proper trajectory. What it should have been from day one. Back then, six months ago, there certainly was a real uproar when I said I would oversee the management of Arcs. But now everyone treats it like it's completely natural. Time really does normalize all. Next, let's talk about enemies. The false bond. To be quite honest, the situation isn't great. Has it ever been great? Well, just take a look at this footage. Gemini is destroying planets! That planets were just... wiped out... like it was nothing. What in the absolute it fuck? It copied a planet it consumed simply to smash it into another, playing with celestial bodies as if they were mere toys. Instead, it appears this horrible new Dark Falls known as Gemini the Duplicate, destroys for the sheer thrill of it. Gemini. Gemini is already headed for its next target. The planet Harukatan, recently discovered and home to an alien civilization. That's Gemini's next stop. We need to get over there then. Right. Which brings me to my last topic. Ark's mission. Our mission now is to wipe out the false spawn and every dark falls out of existence and protect the lives of the universe's myriad inhabitants, right? Looks like you at least remember that much. <laughs> Have we done much else? He just looks unamused. Hey, got a moment? Can you keep an eye on Matoy and stick with her as often as you can? She's my partner. There's no telling when Persona the Mast might strike again like they did ten years ago. Plus... Right. Should push come to shove, I need you to be there to handle it. Your knowledge of the truth demands it. Yep. Ten years ago, she nearly became the profound darkness. This is an unavoidable truth. And while she seems fine now, there's no telling what might happen. No one knows. Not me, not you, not even her. Hey, what's the matter? Let's get going. Coming, my toy. She's in your hands now. Sarah, now? You know what you have to do, right, Sarah? If anything should happen with those two. Let me know immediately. He doesn't trust us. What sort of plan are you cooking up this time? I'm actually hoping that nothing happens whatsoever. 